Hi, welcome back. This is Adventures with Dr. Joe. Thank you for tuning in. So I have a really nice winch in the uh, rear bumper here, the wild boar rear bumper, and it's a special ops 3,500-pound uh, winch. It's really, really nice, but it's got a really wimpy, diminutive rocker switch. Take a look. So this little rocker switch, it has a little rubber cover, teeny little switch, just not... You know, not very good. It just not great to put into an instrument panel. So I wanted to add a really nice switch, an illuminated switch that's momentary. Momentary one way, momentary the other. And this one is a specific one for a winch. You can see the wording, winch in, winch out. So we're going to replace this little teeny one that big with this really nice lighted rocker switch. So the back of this switch has three prongs, green, red, and black. So we're going to replace that with this switch that has seven, but many are going to be bypassed and we've got some instructions for that. When we look at the photograph that I took of the information it talks about how for wiring method B which is to control a winch and it's got three jumper wires and we have three jumper wires here as well as a black to the battery and a red to the battery so these are going to be jumped and we're going to use this configuration that goes right with the switch and I'm going to leave a link in the description about this switch. So this is the wiring we're going to use that comes from Super ATV which is where I got the winch and here we have that switch with all the seven plugs. This top one goes to ground This top one goes to ground. These three are for the plug that I, we took out. Solenoid winch in, solenoid winch out, and this one is for switched power. So I've stripped the wires off these, coiled these together, and using these really nice devices that have that will shrink wrap here and the solder internally will melt. So it's a wonderful, wonderful fit. And if you just carefully there. Get that solder ring right in the center. Get a heat source. Small torch. Just take your time. There it's going. That's it. So the solder has melted. Now we'll just get a wet, wet cloth, cool this off rapidly. Then we have a nice waterproof soldered connection. I've done that already on this line. We're going to connect this three-part plug that goes into the pulse bar. We're not using continuous power. We're using switched power and ground. We'll take the hood off. Un Disconnect these, take the, take the hood off, and then we'll have access to the pulse bar, which is right here. Here at the pulse bar, we've got our quick connect. We're going to take this plug out and literally connect there, which gives us switched power, blue, <coughs> and ground continuous power if we wanted it but we don't need it for this application now we're going to run this through the firewall here into the instrument panel I'm going to run a coat hanger through the through the firewall and then right here I've got a little hook I got a little hook we're going to connect these two so here we go feeding that through pull it from the other side I 
All right, there we go. Okay, now we're at a point where we need to make a decision. I've got my keyed wire in blue, my grounded wire, and then I've got the three wires from the previous switch. We're going to bring those through a hole so I can put the switch in. So we've got all the wires we want, and I'm trying to figure out where the best place to put this would be. Over here, I've got one one wheel, two wheel, four wheel drive, work standard performance, windshield wiper, the rear lights for the bumper. So I think I'll put the winch switch right here. We'll cut this out to fit. And we'll bring all the wires through, connect them, and put it in there. So I've measured the width, which is 21 millimeters. But you can see that really corresponds to the width of this. And the height is basically the same that the cutout is to the inner aspect. So I'm going to go inner aspect of the cutout, top, bottom, and side to side, outer aspect, and it should fit really well. Again, here's the switch that we've got set up. Winch in, winch out, and then three connections here. One, two, five connections in total. So then I can direct it here, cut the opening out this way. So I've cut the hole out for the switch. Now, this is so nice the way Polaris has done this. We will bring the wiring for the switch through that opening. There's the switch power. There's the ground. And here are the three wires that went to the, initial, the original switch which again was pretty weak, pretty wimpy. Put this back in here. Now we'll wire up our switch. First this is the power, which I have going in like this. We have the ground. which I'm just going to put straight onto the switch itself. I don't need that extra piece in there. And now I've got the other three wires from the switch. Six is green. That is five. And black is four. Then we've got a wire on every terminal. Now we'll just feed it back through the hole. So off, power on. You can see we've got the windshield wiper, the light bar colored up, and now the winch out, but also in. So we'll take a look at it back there. So we have the ignition switch turned on. We'll bring the cable in. And that's how that works. Thank you again for watching. That was replacing a simple toggle switch with a really nice illuminated uh, toggle switch. We'll have a description, a, uh, a link in the description. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. It helps the channel a great deal. Like, comments, very welcome. Thank you very much.